Thank you. When he publicly takes the oath of office for the second time, Barack Obama will already be officially 24 hours into his second term. Under the current U.S. Constitution, the president must take office at noon on January 20. But when that falls on a Sunday, the ceremony normally comes 24 hours after the official swearing in. Sundays are public holidays and ceremonial functions will occur on Sundays, but public celebrations are usually delayed for a day. Uh, it's part of our religious tradition. I swear. I, Barack Hussein Obama. So Barack Obama will take swear. the oath of office in the White House on Sunday and the then again on Monday. He will become the first two-term president to take the oath four I times. Swear. That I will Last time around, the, the Chief Justice performing the ceremony the made a slip. That I will execute the off faithfully the president office of president of the, the United office of States. president of the United States faithfully everyone was sure it was safe and legal but just to make sure they did it all again 24 hours later and it's the, the seventh right, time the inauguration the ceremony has written. come the day I after the swearing in the last time it happened was 1985 and Ronald Reagan's second yes. term the office of president of the United States the office of president of the United States Hundreds of thousands of people will be in Washington on Monday, all hoping to catch a glimpse of the man of the moment. Thousands will line the parade route and millions will watch at home in the US and around the world as Barack Obama delivers his second inaugural address. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Some speeches have been memorable, providing lines that live on today. Many others have been instantly forgettable. It is a chance to be just a little more reflective, perhaps, because he's not talking about a crisis in, um, in a country. He's not talking about a specific economic problem. He's getting a chance to talk more generally about what his vision is, and he doesn't get too many chances like that. The inauguration is a celebration, a moment when the United States comes together and marks a peaceful end to an election or sometimes a peaceful transition of power. From the moment he's sworn in, the clock begins ticking on Barack Obama, his final term and his legacy. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.